The Rendlesham Forest UFO Incident, Extraterrestrial Visitors or Natural Phenomenon December 1980 Rendlesham Forest, England A series of mysterious encounters would come to be known as Britain's Roswell. U.S. servicemen stationed at RAF Woodbridge witnessed strange lights in the woods over multiple nights, sparking decades of speculation about what, or who, they encountered. But what if this iconic UFO case wasn't extraterrestrial at all? Could something as natural as plasma be the answer? A night to remember, the story begins with Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt and his team investigating reports of an object descending into the forest. What they found was extraordinary, our security team observed a light that looked like a large eye. Red in color, moving through the trees, Halt recounted. The object appeared to drip molten metal before breaking into smaller, glowing white objects that shot off in all directions. These eerie details made the Rendlesham incident legendary. But over the years, skepticism has grown, and theories of natural phenomena have taken center stage. Could plasma be the culprit? One compelling theory arises from the Ministry of Defense's condign report, which suggests that unknown forms of plasma could be to blame. This plasma, a naturally occurring phenomenon, might emit electromagnetic energy capable of causing cognitive impairment or even bizarre sensory experiences. Philip Mantle, former director of investigations for Bufora, elaborates, Earth itself may produce these electromagnetic forces, creating strange lights, plasma. If someone hypersensitive to these lights gets too close, they may have surreal, vivid experiences that feel completely real, this idea raises fascinating questions. Could the servicemen have encountered a naturally occurring light show, misinterpreted due to the disorienting effects of electromagnetic energy? A debate that won't fade, skeptics point to the plasma theory as a plausible explanation, but believers aren't convinced. How do we reconcile the vivid descriptions of molten metal, maneuvering lights, and the profound impact the encounter had on those involved? What do you think? Is the Rendlesham Forest incident a case of mistaken identity, a natural plasma phenomenon misread as something extraterrestrial, or was it truly a close encounter with beings from another world? Drop your theories in the comments. Let's unravel this mystery together. And if you love diving into the unknown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into history's greatest mysteries.